Yeah, hello, welcome to Grow Media. Today we're actually covering one of the shops that make um, you know bread. This is a very popular Turkish bread that is very, very you know popular here in Turkey, Istanbul. So we want to get to know how these people are making this bread and how, what it really costs them. And of course, if you're actually going into bakery or bread production, wherever you are in the world, this will give you a very good estimate. And of course, help you to plan yourself. And at the same time, I'm also trying to help them with their business, advertise them online. And of course, this would really help them to get more customers around the world with their different ads and every single thing we have to do. So let's Even when you feel low, you can still go. Yeah, my name is Nino. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually owner of Grow Media. So I want to know how you do, you make this, how long it takes you to actually make this bread in the world. I'm doing it I'm doing it for with everything, uh, like opening the bread, sending it to the shape. Yeah. Or uh, own over? Yeah. One and a half hour. One and a half hour. One and a half hour. Yeah. Okay. And how does the demand, the demand of the bread, does it come regularly? Like, how does it come? The demand of the bread. How does the demand of the bread? Bir şey ekliyor musun çıkardıktan sonra? Nasıl yani? Evet. Fırından çıkardıktan sonra ekstra bir şey ekliyor musun? Yok. Hayır, hayır. Normal derecesi de bir şey pişiriyor. Tamam. Haydi. Bu da denetek. Bu tane. Evet. Yani. So what about, what is your biggest challenge when you're making this bread like so far? How long have you been doing it? How many years now? Abi diyor ki en büyük, e, kaç yıldır bu işi yapıyorsun? Ve yaptığım iş, e, iş süreci de gördüm en büyük zorluk neydi? Yani, şimdi 10 yıl yazdım bu işi yapıyordum. Ben 10 yıl seçeneğim derdeyseniz. Wow. 10 yıl. 10 yıldır benim gördüğüm en büyük zorluk anlamazsınız. The, the biggest challenge is the, the, the worker. Okay, the worker. Yeah, the worker missing. Oh. He doesn't have enough workers. He doesn't have enough workers. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, there's not enough workers to actually fill in the space. So, um, how long have you been doing the business? And of course, um, what is his advice to entrepreneurs that want to start a big business in Istanbul, in Turkey in general, or wherever in the world? What is advice to them? Valla ben hep bu işe yani en son iki planı bu işe hiç girmeye hiç bulaşmayın. Ne zaman geldi? Sen zaten şu bir söyle. Bir şeyler söyle. Yani diyor ki benim hep tavsiye nedir bu işlere başlamak istedim. Valla vereceğiz tavsiyem şöyledir. Çok güzel bir meslek. Ölmeyecek bir meslek yani. Ölmeyecek bir meslek yani. So what is the advice to people that want to start a different production company? They have to a bit money. Not a bit. They need money. They need money. They need money to start their business, but it's not dying. It's not dying. Always you can get the true money. Like the customers are available, right? Always. Wow. You cannot close it. But if you have money, you can. Uh, join the business. Wow, wow. So it requires a lot of money to open this kind of business? Yeah. yeah. So yes. It requires a lot of money. So finally, what's the advice to put out this business? What's the advice? 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 What's the uh, you won't have a uh, social activity time, so uh, you're always you're busy, always you're busy. If you take this in your life, you can start. There's no time for anything else. No, you're always busy. You're always busy. Always. Wow. Wow. So thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And of course, this Oman Serat. Serat is actually my translator at the same time learning digital marketing, and we're growing together. Thank you very much. Yeah, patron, the big boss, the big boss, patron. Yeah, the chicken leg. Yeah, the chicken leg. Yeah.